What's up guys? We're back with another educational video and this week we are talking about vitamin D supplementation and strength. But first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. Oh, the algorithm. This week we are examining a meta-analysis of human randomized control trials looking at vitamin D supplementation and its effects on strength. Now, this meta-analysis looked specifically at studies in athletes, which I think is cool because one, we're getting a pretty tight population here and they wanted to see if it affected strength. And they looked at hand grip strength, bench press one rep max strength, vertical jump, and quadriceps contraction, which I believe was measured by something called, I think it's called the isokinetic dynamometer. I might have br brutalized that. Apologies for exercise physiologists if I brutalized that term. So this is where they're measuring maximal contraction and they looked at 30 degrees of flexion, 60 degrees, 180 degrees, and 200 degrees. It looks like a leg extension kind of, but you can't move it. So at each of those degrees of flexion, you're pushing as hard as you can at it and it's not gonna move, but you're registering how much force is being produced. Felt like I needed to explain that to explain the results later. So there's not that many studies looking specifically at vitamin D supplementation athletes. What they saw was about 350 participants in total and the type of vitamin D supplementation and the duration was kind of heterogeneous. There was one study where I think they gave them over like 100,000 IUs of vitamin D for a day and just looked at what happened like a week later, eight days later. There were some that went on for several months, but generally the dosages were anywhere between 5,000 IUs per day and 40,000 IUs per day. Now I will say most of the subjects in this meta-analysis did have low vitamin D, lower than what they recommend, which is 25 nanograms per milliliter of concentration in the blood. And they did see that giving vitamin D supplementation improved vitamin D status in pretty much every study. So that's a good thing. As far as the results, a lot of people are getting really excited about this study. I mean, I was excited when I read the title, but then when I actually dug into it, I was really not that excited. They didn't see a difference in bench press strength. They didn't see a difference in hand grip strength. They didn't see a difference in vertical jump. They did see a small difference in quadricep contraction. So that was using that basically their, their in a leg extension, pushing at different degrees of flexion against an object that won't move. The problem is that was in a sub-analysis that was just two studies, and I think in total like 60 subjects. I don't really know what to make of that. Okay, maybe it's an effect. It's not really how people lift. So I'm not sure if that's actually gonna carry over to strength in terms of like a squat max, for example, or hypertrophy. I mean, the effect size was, was moderate. So it was a moderate difference and basically being able to produce force at these different degrees of flexion. Maybe that carries over into actual strength, maybe it doesn't. I would stop short of saying vitamin D is gonna increase your strength. I, I, I don't know if it does that. But what I will say is most people appear to be pretty low in vitamin D. I don't really see many downsides to supplementing with it. Now I would not do a 100,000 IU dose in a day. I would not recommend that. I think based on this study, 2,000 to 5,000 IUs per day will probably improve vitamin D status, and perhaps that gives you a small benefit in terms of performance and muscular contraction. Is it gonna improve strength and hypertrophy? Uh, I'm skeptical, but again, I don't think there's necessarily a downside, and if you can improve your vitamin D status, that's a positive. As you guys know, I always give it to you straight on supplements, which is why my supplement company, Outward Nutrition, is always doing evidence-based supplements at clinical doses, and we're always straight with you about how much you can expect from using these supplements. They're not gonna turn you into Superman. They're gonna help you train a little bit harder, recover a little bit faster, and support the hard training and the work that you have to do to get results. But at the end of the day, you still have to do the hard work. The supplements aren't gonna work without you doing the hard work. Hopefully, it just enhances your hard work just a little bit, but we're never gonna lie about how much it's gonna do for you, like a lot of these other companies. So if you're interested in my supplement line, you can check them out, outwardnutrition.com. It's the same stuff I use on a daily basis, and I will catch you guys next week.